Good day, good day, lads. This is me, your British boy. I can't believe you. I almost failed you. I was so busy, so enthralled with the latest Bedrock beta that I almost missed the snapshot. It's so embarrassing. Despicable even, but please, give me a chance to redeem myself, because as soon as you see what's inside a brand new Minecraft Snapshot 22W13A, I think you will forgive me forever. Subscribe for more Snapshot videos just like this every single week, and if you're excited for the ancient city, leave a like. I have great news for you. Inside of this week's snapshot, we have the LA, the brand new reinforced deep slate block, but even better, the gigantic new improved ancient city. We also have a couple small changes here in this snapshot as well, including changes to minecarts and a change to note blocks as well. Let's start with one of the small changes, just get it right out of the way, this thing is amazing. So minecart right here, if I go ahead and punch this thing and break it, you see that right there, I get the actual item, this is amazing. Now, TNT minecart, furnace minecart, I'm so sorry, I don't know if anybody uses you, same with that thing. But this right here, oh boy, for big farms, collection systems, hopper minecart is the hopper minecart, it doesn't split apart anymore. This is so, so nice. Literally life changing, game changing, I love it. Another small quick change involving these minecart variants is the recipe. The crafting recipe is now shapeless, so put the hopper below the minecart if you want. Whatever you want to do, you're crazy, you're wonderful, then you can do it. Okay, we need to go see a city. Alright, so this is my snapshot world for 1.19, been using the same world every single time. I was nervous at first. I didn't know if I located an ancient city, if it would like, you know, actually work. Locate ancient city, look at that, it's like relatively close to here too. Flip into spectator, go down right off the bat, lush caves. I was thinking to myself, oh boy, if there's an ancient city here, like this is amazing. It's right below a lush cave. And then I kept going down and down and down. <laughs> and I found it. The ancient city, the beautiful weird portal thing in the middle of the ancient city. The strange improved ancient city with dark oak wood. The ancient city is here and it's right below a lush cave too. This seed is literally the best, not to brag. Alright, so last week's snapshot was all about the Warden. The Warden is still here. I don't think the Warden has been changed very much in this snapshot. Um, but keep in mind that this is really, really endgame. Like, we have the Warden really strong and everything like that. This city has been improved, like, huge time. I've been busy flying around at this particular city and taking a look. And first off, Dark Oak Wood and the, the light blue carpet right there, the cyan, excuse me. That looks good. This bridge right here going to the center. Now we can actually walk to the center, which really makes me wonder about this thing, like this giant portal right here. What's going on? Still doesn't really do anything though, but yeah, so so that's different. Then flying around the city, this right here. I thought this was different, but I think this is just a, essentially a broken up castle wall because of that and that right there. This thing right here, it looks pretty familiar to me for the most part. Oh wait. What's this? A new and improved castle fortress wall, you say? Oh, yes, it is. It is. Okay, so we're just going to walk around the city and check it out. Uh, for the most part today, look at this thing right here. So we have a little bit of a wider hallway and ladders right there. That's going to cause noise. Big problem there. But then over here, this thing. What even is this? This is like a destroyed building. There's a roof on it now. That was not here before. Walls right there and then loot. So we saw the ancient city in an experimental snapshot right around Valentine's Day. It was a gift from King B Dogs to us all. How sweet. Oh my gosh, this loot. So look at this. Uh, right off the bat, it's really just an amethyst shard. I, I know, but like amethyst inside of this thing, amazing filler, amazing. And wait a second, look at that. Other side music disc inside of the ancient city. This is how it always uh, felt like it was meant to be. Like the ancient city was meant to be in caves and cliffs. You have the other side disc. You had pig step in 1.16. It's inside of the ancient city. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So that's pretty good loot. Flying around, looking at more structures. This beautiful thing. It almost looks like an outpost. Like, you know, like the outline of an outpost to me. You have the roof thing right there. Up top. Look at this loot. I mean, again, it's literally just filler right here. But this is so much more enticing to me. And then swift sneak right there as well. So in last week's snapshot video, highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. Uh, the swift sneak enchantment was was changed. It's a legging enchantment now. It's pretty cool. You find it inside of the ancient city. Even more loot and the sit down. Please take a seat here. I'll pull the seat up for you. There you go. Sit in that seat. Protection three diamond leggings. Unbreaking three mending diamond leggings. This thing that this thing. So this is good. This is really good. But this is just a starting point. It gets better. All right, so we will call that the bad loot of the city. Uh, and you'll understand why in a little bit. Here's another big structure, completely ruined right there. 
this thing oh my what is this thing when i saw this thing at first ah uh, exciting okay so not gonna do survival but pretend i'm in survival i walk up the stair right here oh no what have i done oh no what have i done i set the warden off right there so there's like a trap right there that's really cool it's kind of like the jungle temple over here we have this right here which goes down i think this pressure plate is meant to like activate the trap door a little bit of a problem there yikes, yikes. king b dogs uh oh never mind never mind i take it back there's a lever haha <laughs> That'll be my bad. Oh man, okay, so this structure is called the ice box, I believe. Look at the ice box right here. In the bottom of the ice box, it's potato time, certainly. Still, this thing is really cool. It's an actual room under this thing. This is so cool. I've seen this done in like mods and things like that in the deep dark. Oh man, I love this thing. Now flying around this uh, particular building right here, I wasn't able to really find any other like secrets here. We just have a little bit of redstone there. That's cool. And then ice all over this thing though. Uh, I think this thing, this city, or at least this building in the city, is maybe a little bit more of like a lore thing like what are they doing with the ice inside of there were they freezing the warden or trapping something or like what why is there ice aha uh -huh, interesting something to think about for sure but let's keep moving on because the city is big we have a lot to take a look at over here another structure more loot inside of this thing another music disc which is sweet and iron armor fans you will be impressed all right all right this thing right here which uh, actually uh it owes its life to me i actually saved it from burning down the lava was flowing but more dark oak inside of the structure that's pretty cool right here we have a ladder it goes down to the lower level right there i wasn't able to really find any loot in this middle section i think it's just like basically a new crossroads or something more wide hallways right there that feels and looks way wider than it was before lots of fire i think that might be a problem with these cities just like basically burn it down oh boy this loot this loot is so good so that one is okay this one is okay until you see that right there unbreaking three fortune three efficiency five this is the best hoe in the game other than netherite and mending this is like the best hoe in the game i think the developers hurt us guys i i think they hurt us when we were talking about the loot maybe not being very good because the big changes have been made look at that this beautiful right there big big changes have been made to the loot so i've been flying around the city obviously looking at the loot there's a lot of really really good things here like this loot is a lot more like it way more worth it you can come to these cities and find end game tier loot power five right there swift sneak three uh i don't remember where it was it was somewhere in here i found like a set piece of leggings where is it where is it they got a pair of leggings that i found here it is mending protection four on breaking three you upgrade this thing to netherite and you're done this is that's it that's your best legging in the game right there the loot is so much better like seriously a million times better and the structures are so much more interesting too name tags obviously as you're seeing here this city is good this is really really good and i love the direction that the developers are doing with this city now oh I didn't check this out yet. This was gonna be our little thing that we would do together. Well, this wasn't here before. It's a game. <laughs> what? It's a game. Okay, so at this point in the video, all the stuff that I've been talking about, I kind of already knew about. I flew around and checked it out uh, for myself. I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I have no clue at all. So light those things, maybe. Does that do something? No. I mean, that does kind of make sense after all. Let's just go ahead and move in here and fly around and take a look at this. So we have uh, pistons right there, sticky pistons. We have this whole contraption going on over here. Uh, huh. This is almost like a redstone science lab, actually. Look at this, the lectern right there, it's showing off the mechanics. It's showing off the mechanics, I, I think it clicked. It's showing off how things work in the game. Redstone is now explained in Minecraft. Oh, no way. <laughs> This is insane. I don't know how you would actually open this thing. Aha, uh -huh, I found a small window on the back side of the thing so you can kind of see in there. That's really interesting, but I'm not seeing like any like a uh, clean entrance, like a ladder or anything like that. Uh, it seems pretty solid to me, but that's fascinating. Well, I fully did not expect this to happen like at all. I did not think that this thing would become like, like something, like, like actually a thing inside of this city and and then let alone like redstone explained in the game i'm trying to process this right now this is amazing oh look at it. it's a skulk sensor right there oh uh, do we use the sensor to get in mm, i don't know 
final thing that I need to do in here is activate all of the lamps and just see, like, like maybe, just see, the developers have added some kind of weird easter egg, some secret thing, activate every single lamp inside of this thing, and see what happens. The lamps on top are lit up, over here, what do we have? Just a room. I don't think it's gonna do anything, guys, but I mean, you never know. I can't believe this has actually worked. The portal... Yeah, just kidding. April Fool's early version. It's not on. Uh, so, please excuse me if I'm wrong about that being a redstone experimenting lab or something like that. But there is definitely redstone there. And it kind of looks like a lab. Overall, first thoughts on this city today. This thing is amazing. This is really, really fascinating. And I love the direction the developers are going with this thing. The loot is actually good. The city is way more interesting than before. And don't get me wrong. It was already, like, amazing before. What is the center thing, though? What do you think? Uh, drop it down in the comments because we must move on the LA the LA is here inside of this beta listen to the sounds of this thing oh it's so cool it's so creepy it's like a ghost literally or something the sounds weren't on bedrock edition they're over here this is great and now I'm really excited to get to mess with this thing in like my own environment Java edition uh, but check this out, so no block timer right there. The alley, uh, mechanically speaking, is pretty much the same as the other alleys that we've seen. Alley right there, we give it an item, and now it's gonna stay linked over here, and if it finds items on the floor, like that right there, it should pick those up, and then I think go over here. Mm-hmm, there we go, now you're linked to that thing, and it should stay linked to the no block. For 30 seconds. Mm, no pluck, you are annoying. I'm really sorry. So let's talk about the no pluck. There's a small change with the no pluck as well. I was too busy checking out the ancient city to really mess with this one too much. Uh, but here we go. We have no pluck right there. If I put glass above it, still makes the sound. If I put this above it, still makes the sound. You need wool, and then the sound is completely silent. So I'm almost over 100% certain that this one won't work how I'm thinking, but what if, maybe, if I just make a box around this thing, it's not gonna work, or does it literally have to be on top of it still? Probably on top of it still. Ale, get out of there, you don't want to be trapped with that thing, that's annoying. Mm-hmm, yep. Kind of as expected, literally on top. Ale, let's talk about locating the Ale. So if you've been following the Ale betas, it's exactly the same here. So if we find an outpost in our world, there's a chance that the outpost has a cage generated with it. This is the weirdest outpost I've ever seen. Any LA cage here? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it, which means, unfortunately, no LA. But we can always try again. Second try is the charm. Outpost number two in this world. This time I can feel it. LA cage, show yourself. There is no LA cage. Outpost number three. Let's go. Let's check it out. This is the time. Please work. Please work. Uh, there's a cage. There's another cage. All right. So fine. Zero out of three outposts. Keep your alley. That's fine. Uh, there's another method. But really quick before we talk about that other method, I think this is a good opportunity to actually update the outpost. I mentioned it before, but I've been thinking about it. Imagine every single outpost generating with maybe on like this floor right here a cage inside of it with one alley so like every time you find an outpost there's an alley that you can rescue but you have to actually like get inside of the outpost and break it out of the cage instead of just like on the side like these side cages are cool and all uh especially with the golem right there but imagine putting the cage on the inside of the outpost now there's an actual reason to go inside of this thing other than the trash tier loot on the top plus the inside of the outpost has always felt so empty anyways too so uh moving on let's check out the woodland mansion this is the other spot that we can find the alley once it loads in maybe and my game froze completely it's gone done so uh, careful when you find the mansion all right take two i made it back to the world it looks like we're trying to load the mansion again uh, uh oh <laughs> not this again well, I really hope I can get that world back. That would be very nice. So, on the note of the LA, one more thing to note. Uh, the LA, th there are some differences between Java and Bedrock. For instance, the throwing angle, when it tosses items to the player in no block. Sorry about that little problem with the LA there, but that's where we're going to end it today. If you find any interesting LA differences, definitely throw those down in the comments. And then your thoughts on the Ancient City middle room thing. Is it showing off redstone? Is it a secret to activate the portal? What do you think? Drop it down in the comments. If you enjoyed, destroy the like button. Subscribe, something new coming very soon that you're going to want to see. Thanks for watching. This has been me, your boy.